Okay, new video time. So with the amount of stress this thing's been causing me, um, we need to jump onto something else. So last week I got some irons dropped off to me. The front and rear iron have been ported, but the center hasn't. Well, it's a bit of a mix match engine. So what we're into today, we're gonna put a center plate. Anyway. So this is the front iron here, you can see it's quite a rubber large bridge, so we need to somewhat, where is it, make that like that. We aren't going to put the bridge in there, we're just going to extend this port here, it actually needs quite a lot taken out of it. So what I'm going to work with is this template here, so this is a Bridgeport turbo template and we want to run this port here. But not the bridge, just that port. So what we'll do is go ahead and get some paint onto this. We'll scratch it in and then we'll just start die grinding. And hopefully she'll turn out mint. If you are after a template, I definitely recommend buying some of these. I think I've got about four or five, all in different things. So this one I got out of Aussie somewhere. I can't remember where. And I've got a couple over there for Renesis engines that I got from Mazdatrix. Mazdatrix? Mazdatrix in the States. So all that aside get some paint on these, we'll sit there and scribe in our mark and pull out the die grinder. Right, got some paint on there, ready to mark as soon as that dries. So while that's happening, we're gonna to touch base on this. Now this car here, fuel tank, everything's sorted now, surge tank, I've got a return line running back to the main tank, but she is flooding under cranking. So I've been searching it all up and just having nightmares and nightmares, but it is flooding the engine's so bad that all of that down there is all fuel. That's all my uh, premix that I put in it. It is actually just coming out of the exhaust manifold. It's coming up by the turbo, just completely way out. So I have been mucking around with a few uh, bits and pieces on the Microtech, but I'm not quite there. And the battery's flat again, and the car is wickedly flooded. So take this time, forget this car for now, fix these little other jobs that I need to get sorted. But yeah, so far, hate it okay so paint's all dry now so i'll just quickly mark this port up um pretty sure it will be sweet it is only a primary port so it doesn't need to be as big as this other one but all done there i don't know how well you can see it if you can see it at all but We'll have a look once I get this off. If it's even going to come out. Yeah, so as you can see, she's considerably bigger than the factory one, but not stupid crazy like said one here. So I'll get into this now, start pouring it and be done. So first cut is done, um, she's still a little bit rough as you can see inside the ports, but basic shape is cut out. So what I need to do now is go through and clean it all up. Now what I tend to use, or sometimes I use these little stone ones, it does, it's not really aggressive, it just, just smooths it out nicely. Um, I do have these little sandy things here, but they're crap. So, I'm going to hit it with this now and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it will clean all that out, make it run a lot smoother and we should be all right. And then once that's done, we've got that little baby to do. So, fun times. Anyway, I'll get back into it. Right, 
porting is all finished now. So as I said before, we're only doing the, the main port here. We're not actually putting the bridge in, but I've cleaned that up somewhat. So it actually flows really, really nice. But what I need to do is just get a small little file like so, and I'll just need to take just a sharp edge off, off the side of the port there, just so it doesn't catch on um, anything to do with the rotor, corner seals, apex seals, whatever. Um, it doesn't need much. It just, yeah, just a fine little bit, just um, give it a slight little radius edge. So that's that done and And just like that, all done. Okay, so this is all smoothed out now, but what I quickly want to show you is the shape of the port here. So what you need to be mindful, which well, mainly up here, this edge here isn't cut straight down, it's actually tapering out on the angle. Now, it's a little bit different than this one, which just sinks straight down. This one actually comes out on an angle and up. Now, the reason for that is the water jacket in behind here. It actually runs straight through this point through here. So you've got to be really, really careful how much meat you take out of here. Otherwise, you will cut into that water jacket. So generally what I do is when I am porting this, I just ram my finger in there and you can fill roughly how much more meat you have left um, with this one here it actually the water jacket itself is actually running straight through there so you are able to cut straight down through there now yeah that's the difference between this one and there and i'm pretty sure primary ports are tire i'm not sure um but yeah i'm pretty happy with that but that's something to keep in mind if you're going to be doing this porting don't cut it straight down taper it in and see just work on it and you can pretty much tell straight away what you're going to get and what you're not so in the end this probably took two hours at most but if you are looking at doing your own porting i highly suggest you get some templates this one as i said i got from australia it was 100 bucks um the ones for the rx8 engines they're about 200 dollars, and you can find those on ebay but Definitely um, get a little Dremel, little bits. It's not a race. If you just sit there and take your time, um, you can get a more fine line and you're not going to waste a set of uh, irons by gouging past the points that you need. Um, so you want to be in control of your die grinder. And yeah, just those little tips about where you can actually cut, cutting down straight down or you're cutting in on taper. Just stuff like that. But um. It's pretty straightforward. I'd highly suggest get a template, find some scrap irons and just go for it. Just start practicing. Uh, I mean, this this porting job here is uh, by no means a masterpiece, but it will do for what we're doing. It wasn't much to it. It's just an extend port. As I said, no bridge, so piece of cake. Um, but other ones, when you are doing the bridge, it gets a little bit more technical and you need to be very, very careful when you're drilling your holes down through here and you're actually cutting this piece out of a die grinder so bear that in mind but if that's what you want to get into do it anyway thanks for watching and hopefully i figure that thing out it's once again a pain in the ass anyway see you on the next one